हेलो एवरीबॉडी होप यू आर डूइंग वेल वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल नॉलेज की पार्ट साला दिस इज माय नेक्स्ट वीडियो टिल एक्स टील पे सीरीज बट बिफोर स्टार्ट द वीडियो आई रिक्वेस्ट यू प्लीज वॉच माय प्रीवियस वीडियो पार्ट 24 ऑन दैट वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ टू क्रिएट नेटवर्क शेयर प्रोटेक्शन रूल मींस यू कैन मॉनिटर द डेटा ओवर ट्रैवल ट्रैवलिंग ओवर द नेट नेटवर्क शेयरिंग पाथ बट इन माय टुडेज वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ टू क्रिएट द प्रिंटर प्रोटेक्शन रूल it could be a data monitor or could be a block means uh if you want to block the user will not be take the prints we can apply the rules or we can monitor what type of the uh, user take uh, taking or uh, the prints we can also monitor okay so let's get started first of all log in the epu server click on the menu and go to the DLP policy manager. Uh, we have already told you if you want to create any rule, you should be create the rule set fi first. Uh, but in my scenario, we have already created the rule set. This is my rule set. Just click on it. Go to the data protection and create in the printer protection rule. For it, click on action. Click on new rule and select. printer protection okay type the na name as per your identification printer protection rule change the state from disable to enable change the severity from at least major or critical because data is important for every company that's why severity should be high if anyone try to print any sensitive or confidential data of the company Uh, we are creating this rule for windows only that's why we just uncheck this mac os feature now immediately jump to the condition under the condition we set the classification uh, first of all i set the classic classification for of for the all type of the data okay uh, later we will change it for as per the company's confidential or sensitive data but this time i'll select all type of the data now uh, if i'm talking about the end user we just select all users means this rule will apply for the entire users okay uh, there is a printer classification we set all type of the printers or we can set as per our company's requirement it could be a network or local but this time i'll select all type of the printers uh, if i'm talking about the application i'll all type of the application will select okay now jump to the reaction uh this time i just try to block no one can take the prints later we will tell you how to monitor okay how to monitor uh, the printing data but this time i am only block okay uh set the user notification notification mean if anyone try to take the print out this notification is this notification is pop pop up out okay so default default printing protection user notification okay click on okay we just check in these options report incident and store original files as evidence this is the mandatory if i will not uh, check this options and the incident will not be generated okay now jump uh, now save it ignore this alert warning save anyway now rule has been created uh, add this rule with the policy for it go to the policy assignment click on action Click Apply Selected Policy and select the policy. Data Prevent Block. Why we? I'll select this. Because of wait for it. Now policy has been applied. Okay. Uh, we have created the uh, rules under this rule set. data block for entire organization and this policy will under this 
or interlink with this rule set okay now jump to the client pc click on about uh, again right click on telix icon go to the telix agent status monitor just click on check new policy and wait for the change the policy name as the uh, as well as revision id see the policy name has been changed with the revision id this may it means the rule has been applied on this policy to to this system to uh, verify this rule just try to try to do a print uh, document okay for it go to any document type anything deal Okay, I just click on file, go to the print, and select the printer and try to print. Okay, click on save. See uh, the notification uh, pop out. The print was blocked since sensitive information. now a little bit change i'll just monitor not to block so how to change the policy a rule go again go to the dlb policy manager click on data block for entire organization go to the printer production rule go to the reaction and change no action means it will be monitored only not block okay just save it close it go to the policy assignment select action and select apply selected policy select the policy and click on applied policy Applied policy. See the revision ID has been changed twenty two. There is no pending changes available. Now jump to the client PC. This is the revision ID is twenty one still. To add this revision ID, just click on check new policy. And wait for the change. Now the revision ID has been changed. Again, I'll try to take the print out. Click on File, click on Print. Select the printer and click on Printer. Test GLP. Click on Save. See the print was monitored only since sensitive content was identified. Okay. Uh, just check the earlier pdf file is not it is generated but there is no content you can see over it 0 kb if i'll try to open it it will be not open it will be not the monitored file i try to open it see this document has been open it to verify the incident over the epu server just log in the epu server click on manual and go to the dlp incident manager 
incident list you can see over here printer protection rule just click on it incident id you can verify this is the text file this is a rule rule set this is the rule name the computer name ip address so friends that's all in this video if the video is informative to you please don't forget like comment and subscribe thanks